Dr. Suvachla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. Let's see what genetic causes could be causing infertility in female patients. Well, to begin with, we'll talk about PCOS and endometriosis. These are common causes of infertility that we are constantly dealing with in infertility clinics. And you may be surprised that what am I talking, why am I including PCOS and endometriosis in genetic causes? But research has shown that PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome and also endometriosis have been linked to genetic causes. And uh, it's very common for uh, doctors to be asking if your mother has uh, PCOS or endometriosis or if your aunt or one of your close relatives also has been uh, complaining of PCOS or endometriosis. So these are also very important disorders that are linked to uh, genetic causes. Then we'll talk about some important mutations or effects that some kind of a defect on uh, genes can cause. We'll talk about Turner's syndrome first. As you're aware, every female must have two X chromosomes. But in Turner's syndrome, the female is born in, with only one X chromosome. Now this cause could lead to a lot of uh, variability in the reproductive system. It could lead to uh, poor ovarian reserve as in the oocytes will be very less in uh, the ovaries or poor endometrium growth or some distortion in the uterus as well. So these are things that could be associated with Turner's syndrome and it's a very very important aspect to look at when we're talking about uh, genetic causes of infertility. Then we'll talk about fragile X permutation. Like I said, two X chromosomes for every female. But there is a small gene that is called as FMR1 gene uh, and any mutation or any uh, alteration to this region can cause ovarian insufficiency. Primary ovarian insufficiency is what uh, leads to infertility in these uh, patients and it's very difficult to uh, analyze at the face of it. So a doctor or your clinician, your fertility specialist might prescribe a karyotype or a particular uh, gene analysis for you. So this is very critical for you to uh, get tested for if you're showing the symptoms for fragile X permutations. Then we will talk about Kalman syndrome. Now Kalman syndrome is uh, something that uh, affects your GnRH hormone regulation. GnRH is a very ha important hormone released by the brain and it uh, makes sure that you release estrogen and progesterone. As you are aware, estrogen and progesterone are very important for your egg to grow, to ovulate, your endometrium to grow so that there is proper blood supply when the embryo reaches there and it's very easy for it to implant and grow as a fetus or a baby. So Kalman syndrome uh, will cause insufficiency of release of GnRH therefore estrogen and progesterone are not released properly and in such patients there is a, a delayed puberty or no puberty at all so they don't reach a stage where they can have regular periods so it's a very very critical genetic analysis that we need to do to find out if Kalman syndrome is present now this also leads to primary ovarian insufficiency and uh, such patients may or may not have periods yes definitely but also will have a very poor ovarian reserve and by the time they hit 40s studies have shown that a large number of these patients do not have oocytes at all while we are aware that uh, menopause doesn't come till 50 in Indian population. So it's very, very critical that you get genetically analyzed. Yes, do not panic. Don't do it yourself. Your doctor will decide based on your symptoms, based on your childhood pattern, based on all your physical features. All these are taken into account when your genetic analysis is done. In addition to all this, there are structural deformities as well in, in genes which could lead to infertility. Uh, there could be some mutations, there could be some inversions of genes. Like if a chromosome is present and it's inverted, it's called inversion. Where when there is a, a exchange between two chromosomes which should not happen, it's called translocation. All these can also lead to in some form or shape, in some frequency or some amplitude lead to infertility. So do not panic. But yes, this is something that doctors are aware of already. When you go to them for infertility treatment and they look at your symptoms, they look at your uh, uh, your pattern of ovulation and your periods and they do a scan, they analyze your endometrium, they see your uterus. They are aware that something is not right and they will then prescribe a genetic analysis. If you wish to know more about this and find out more about genetic analysis, please feel free to contact us. Thank you. A lot of effort has gone into making this video. Please like and subscribe us. Thank you.